hi everyone welcome to gt coding in this video we are going to create the blogs index page and the projects index page and uh, then we are also going to fix this menu over here so that when we go to the blogs index page we want this item to be highlighted with a pink color and uh, the same goes with all the other menu items so let's get started <laughs> Now let's go to our blogs page so we'll click on this menu item and uh, we can see that we have these uh, three posts over here let's see where we are getting this info from so we'll go to our code editor and here we can see that we are getting the data from index.php page so we'll just go ahead and delete everything and we'll just type index.php and we'll save it and we'll see whether it is reflecting in our uh, page so I will refresh this page and here we can see that we get index.php printed so it means that everything that is inside the index.php file is printed in our blogs section now we'll go to the project section and we can see that the same file is also powering the projects section so first of all we'll start designing the blogs page so we'll go to our Visual Studio code and uh, we'll copy everything from the front page.php because everything is going to be almost the same. So we'll just copy everything from there and we'll paste it in our index.php file. And here we have to remove some things from here. So we'll remove the banner because we don't need a banner in the blog's index page. And uh, then we need to remove the project section so just select from here and uh, we'll also remove the source section so we'll delete both these sections so if I save it and if I go to the blog page you can see that we get two of the blogs listed over here so what we want in our blogs index page is that we want more than two blog post displayed and we also want a pagination over here so that if we are displaying 10 posts per page we want to go to the next page using the pagination so we'll go to our code now we don't want this custom query over here because we are already displaying the blogs because it is the blogs page so we don't need this and we also don't need post per page as two so i'll just delete these lines of code and we also have to delete this now we'll save this and we'll refresh our page so here we can see that we are getting all the posts from our website displayed over here now first of all we'll apply a different class for our heading because the heading is below this now bar and then we also need to add a metadata over here so let's go to our code and uh, we'll change this class to page heading and if I save this and uh, if I refresh my page we can see that our heading is displayed over here now below our title we need to have the card metadata so we'll create a new division with a class name of card meta and here we will type posted by and then we will get into the PHP mode and we will type the author so this function is gonna get the author of the particular post and then we will type on and we have to specify the date over here so we have a function called the time so we will type the time over here and in here we can specify the format of our time so we'll type f j comma y and after that we have to specify the category so we'll type in and it should be inside a link we'll create an anchor tag and uh, in here we will get back into the php mode and here we will type echo get the category list
and we have to type the separator so we'll separate it with a comma and that's it for our card metadata so we'll just save it and we'll refresh our page so here we can see that we have our uh, blogs displayed over here and we also have the card metadata we'll also put a space in between so we'll go back over here and uh, here we will type a space so now we'll look at how to create a pagination for our page so for that we'll go to the dashboard of our wordpress website and here we'll go to settings and then click on reading and here we can change the number of posts to be displayed on the blog index page so we'll just change this to two and we'll save the changes and if you refresh this page we can see that two of our blog posts are displayed over here and now here we can add the pagination so we'll go back to our visual studio code now after the section over here we'll create a new division and we'll give it a class name of pagination and here we have to just type echo paginate links and uh, that's it so we'll save it and we'll refresh our page so here we can see that our uh, pagination is displayed over here we can go to the next page over here and uh, we get to see the next two posts if we'll go to the next page we can see the next two posts and here also in our url we can see we have a different address for our different pages so that's basically how pagination is used in our pages now if you go to the projects we can see that all the projects are displayed over here and we don't need to use any custom queries because wordpress determines which type of post should be shown based on the url over here so it says projects over here so all the projects will be displayed over here and uh, if we have blog in the url all the blogs will be displayed over here so we'll go to our projects and we need to make some minor changes over here we don't have a category for our project so we have to delete the in from here and uh, we also need to change this um, uh, title over here so let's see how to do that so right now this page over here is powered by the index.php file so if you want to have a different template for this page over here then we have to create a new file in our project we can create a file called archive.php and we can use that file to be a template for this page so we'll go ahead to visual studio and here we will create a new file and we'll name it archive.php and we'll just type archive.php over here just to test whether it is working so here we can see that archive.php is working and if we go to the blog page we have the index.php file powering it and if we go to the projects we have the archive.php file powering it so we'll go to our uh, index.php and we'll just copy everything from here and we'll paste it in the archive.php file and we'll make the necessary changes over here for the page heading we can type all projects over here we can see all projects is displayed over here but there is one more function in wordpress called the archive title we'll see how that works so we'll go into php mode and here we will type the archive title we can see that it displays archives and then the type of the archive so we can use this same title for all the other archives that we have so now we'll change the metadata and uh, we will remove everything from in because we don't want to have the categories now we'll just refresh this page and see whether it is working so here we have 
the correct metadata and we also have the correct heading now the archives can be for dates months year or author or categories or things like that so we'll go to the blogs list page and if we click on one of these categories if you click on this app dev we can see that everything inside the app dev category is displayed over here we can see category app dev is displayed over here and uh, if we go ahead and uh, click on motivation all the posts related to motivation are displayed over here so these are archives now if we want to have a completely different archive for our projects we don't want archive projects displayed over here we want all projects displayed so let's see how we can do that we'll go to our visual studio code and uh, we have to create a new file and we have to name it archive dash and then the type of the archive so our archive is of projects so we have to type archive hyphen project dot php now if i'll type hi over here and if i refresh we can see that archive dash project dot php is powering this page so we we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll copy everything from the archive dot php and uh, here we will change the title to all projects so now if we we'll go to the projects page we can see all projects is the title and we have these projects displayed and we also have the other archives over here like the categories and the archive.php file is powering this page over here and for our blog index page the index.php file is powering that and for our projects the archive-project.php file is powering this now the last thing to do is fix our navigation bar so we'll go to our visual studio code and we'll open the header.php file and here we have to apply the active class to different list items depending on the page that we are on so what we'll do is uh, remove this class active from here and uh, inside the anchor tag uh, we will go into the php mode so there's a wordpress function called is front page if we are on the front page then it returns true so we'll type if is front page and if that is true then we want to echo class active so that's it for uh, the front page now we'll just copy this and now we'll go to the next list item so here inside our anchor tag we'll just paste it and now for this we have a different function so it is called get post type so we we'll just cut this and here we will type get post type and we'll say post over here so now if we are on a blog post then uh, we will echo class active on this list item over here and we'll just copy this from here and we'll do the same thing over here and instead of post we will type project now for the next list item we have a different function called uh, is page so this is not a post type it is a page so we have to use that function over here so we'll type is page and here we have to type the name of our page so if it is the about page then we will echo class active on the about menu item so that's basically it for the active class so we'll just save everything and we'll see whether it is working so here we can see that we are on the projects page and uh, we get the projects menu item highlighted over here if we go into one of these projects the same thing is highlighted over here if you go to the about page we have the about menu item highlighted we'll go to the blogs page we have everything working correctly and uh, at last if we go to the home page 
we have the home menu item active over here so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you like this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day